All right, today we're gonna to do a quick repair on a patio umbrella. The other day I left mine out, a storm came down here in South Florida like they can do quickly. It was, the umbrella was open, the wind blew it right out, smashed it on the ground and one of the ribs broke, resulting in this. And then it looked like this when we opened it. So this should be a pretty quick repair. A couple things you're gonna need though. If you don't have any copper tubing laying around, you're gonna to need to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get some. This is three quarter inch tubing. You just need to make sure that whatever tubing you get, you can fit through the broken rib like that. Make sure that it can fit snug through. And you're gonna need about six inches worth. You could just pre-cut it at Home Depot, get three quarter by six inches. Um, that should be sufficient for this project. Beyond that, you're gonna need standard things like a drill, drill bit, but you also need a rivet gun and some rivets. So make sure that if you don't have a rivet gun and rivets, you also get that when you get your tubing. Well, we'll go ahead and do this together. The first thing we need to do is flatten out this tubing. So I'm gonna put it in my vise here, and I'm just gonna start squeezing. What you may have to do if you don't have a vise is actually use your hammer and whack it a little bit. It's not too thick, but what we're looking to do is flatten this enough so that it'll fit snug over this rib and we're going to go down about three inches on it and then obviously it'll go three inches on the other side so let's start there we're going to go ahead and flatten this piece out i'm just squeezing it a little bit here as best i can on both sides to make sure that it's good i think we're pretty good shape here i want it to be flat on the sides but still be able to stick this piece in which it looks like we are in pretty good shape so just going to flatten it out something like that all right, then once it's flattened out, here's my six inch piece. I would drill a hole around the three quarter inch mark, right in the middle at three inches, and then about five and a quarter. So you're going three quarters in each, each way. And we're just using a one eighths inch drill bit to make that happen. Okay, once you have your three holes drilled, go to your spare screws and parts and whatnot and find a screw that fits into that one eighth. I just put one in here, but then that's going to allow you to stick this in all the way up to the halfway mark. And then what you're going to need to do is replicate that hole with your drill bit through this rib here. Okay. Now that that's done, you're going to grab your rivet gun. If you uh, haven't used one of these before, cause I actually don't use it that often myself, there are different size rivets, so you're going to want to make sure you have the right one installed. You're going to put your rivet in, and then we're going to stick it inside this hole that we just made. And we're going to give it a good squeeze. Hopefully that got it. Looks like it did. And that's on. How about that? All right. Take that off. We are halfway there. Okay, so we've already riveted the broken piece of the rib to our six inches of copper tubing. That's riveted, it's done. We've got this middle screw in here, which is actually very important beyond what we're doing by having a center point here. That's gonna come in handy in a minute. But I've gone ahead and pre-drilled the hole by simply sticking it in here. It's gonna hit this screw and then drilling the hole in. All we have left to do now is rivet the broken piece with the tubing to the piece still attached. So we'll do that right now. All right, hopefully you feel like this has been going quick. We've already got the broken piece reattached to the umbrella. The last thing we need to do is attach it to the other piece that the rivet broke off of. So this was previously riveted here to this arm. And so all we need to do now is take this screw that we already put through the tubing and put that through where the rivet was on this piece of the arm. So we just gotta push this up as far as it goes and hope it's the right size. That screw is good enough. Yeah. Push it in there, and that's good. Now, one thing you're gonna to need to think about is I'm, I'm using screws right now, I may need to change that, uh, or 
put something on the end of it, whether it be like a, a piece of foam or something to make sure that it doesn't rip the umbrella. So you gotta think through that. You could also use a small bolt, though I don't know that um, you're gonna be able to find one small enough that you can put a nut on the other side. You can go ahead and take a look though. We used the 1 8 inch bit when we were drilling that hole. So that would likely work. But now you can see it's already pushed up. The last thing to do, crank it down, install the piece back into the edge of the umbrella, and you're done. Hopefully you're already outside enjoying the beautiful weather. Like the video, leave any comments or questions you have below, and subscribe to my channel where I have other videos that might help you with your repairs.